Okay, this is what the shower looks like after I use the pink stuff and then what little bit didn't come off because the majority of it did come off. I just finished it off with some Dawn Power Wash. So this is what the shower looks like. Now, let me finish decorating. It is 12.30 a.m. I am working like an elf in Santa's workshop trying to get this uh, project done so I can get my video out. But my babe had to go get me some matte clear enamel because when I spray painted my, um, when I spray painted my vase, it was shiny. And since I'm doing another shower curtain art project, he got me an industrial staple gun as well as some staples. I'm gonna attempt to staple two of these together to make one big picture so I don't have to spend any money on canvas. And on top of that is my shower curtain. So let me get started on that. Okay, for my shower curtain wall art, I decided to go with an actual frame. The process is easier because all you have to do is take the shower curtain, uh, size it to the insert that comes with your frame, and I used painter's tape on the back of it so I can change the uh, picture out if I choose to. It comes with a thick particle board so it's easy for it to stick to and it's really um i'm not gonna say thick but it's very durable so you don't always have to use canvas in order to do a wallpaper art you can also use um a frame so this time i wanted to do something different and make it look a little bit more elegant so i chose to go with a frame picture that i got from michael's and it was 34.99 and all I did, like I said, was got a bunch of painter's tape, taped the material to the back of it. Now all I have to do is hang it. So stay tuned. This is the aftermath of pulling all the staples out of the canvas. On my first one, when I decided to change my mind, I have paint all over my hands. This project kicked my, excuse my language, ass. <laughs> I stabbed myself right there. I'm going to get my nails done on Friday. I can't wait. I need a day of relaxation and pampering. So yeah, this hallway renovation, decoration, it took me through it, but it was well worth it. I've been so busy, I haven't had time to cook. So my babe bought me dinner. This is the yum yum sauce. Egg rolls. Sweet and sour sauce, ginger sauce, this is hibachi. And then I have the steak and shrimp with zucchini and cabbage and two egg yolk sauce. So this will be my dinner for today and tomorrow. It looks so good. Let me eat a little bit of this and get back to work.
Okay, with the shelf that I put over my toilet, I'm starting off with a clean slate. I'm leaving this like this, so when I move, I can put the rack back where I had it. I was in the process of covering it up, and then I thought about it just to leave it like that so I could put it back where it was. This is the picture that was already in here. I did not want to get rid of it. So now I'm about to style these shelves and then move on to the next part. Okay, I feel like Santa's elf, but I got it done. All the cleaning supplies, nice and organized, cleaning rags, all my extra medications, toothpaste, deodorants, all of my towels. It took me back to the days that I used to smoke. I felt like I was rolling, 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 rolling. And then I have these are all my bath towels. These are all my hand towels on the left, washcloths in the middle, bath towels on the right, and then all of my linen at the top. So I am so proud of myself that I got this done. And I will never let that get like that again because when I put something somewhere, it stays like that. So when you first used to walk up my steps, there was hampers for dirty clothes. And now, this is what it looks like. The 
That was my mom's face that I told you guys I was gonna repurpose. And because it was so cold outside, the paint cracked. But I actually like it like that. This is the faux pumpus grass that I ordered from Amazon. Here's a closer look on the base when it cracked when I took it outside, but I love it. All the different textures. It matches all my other texture bases. So I don't know how that happened, but I like how it happened. There's a bow that I already had in my house. I got the bow from Walmart about, about a year ago. So I just decided to put these crystals in there. Like the way it all came together this is one of my projects i really 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 enjoy doing as well as i'm proud of how it turned out here is the infamous picture that i played off of to bring all of this together this picture right here These are my DIY pictures. I just added a little bit of gold flakes to them. I love how they turned out. chose to go with this plant. I already had it in my living room. I changed the plate like I said I was going to. This is a vase inside of a vase. The plant came in this terracotta pot. I already had this vase so I doubled them up. I already have that, this box in my living room. So I just added some white rocks, some stones, and some blue crystals to go with the color scheme. And then I have this vase right here. I'm so proud of how this really turned out. It is so pretty.
this is the shower curtain art. As you can see, it has the triangles in it, just like the picture right there. And it has all the different shades of blue. I'm glad I decided to put it in the frame. It took the picture to the next level, made it look like I bought it out of a store. And like I said, I bought the shower curtain at Amazon. And I'm really happy how it turned out. Okay, first we'll start with the rugs. And then as you can see, my sink is very, very small. So it's minimal. I do have an oil diffuser on there that I turn on when I get in the shower. That sink had cracks in it when I moved here as if somebody poured um, nail polish remover down the sink. So there's nothing I can do about that. I got my rugs from Target. No, I got my rugs from Walmart. Then over here, I have the toilet paper, the air freshener, plenty of air freshener. I always like for you to have options. <laughs> and then on the second row, I made the floating bead arrangement and I just put some birds right there. As well as I made this centerpiece right here. That's an electric candle lighter right here. I also made this picture. I made it years ago and I never got rid of it. So I'm glad I didn't because it finally came in handy. And then right here over the toilet, we have the relax, pamper yourself sign. And then I put all of my oil, my sleep spray, my awake oils. And then I put this little plant right here. And then I have my bubble bath bath bombs and then I just put some rocks and crystals and, and a glass sitting on top of a mirror same thing right here and another jar and then I just hung these towel, hand towels up so remember I told you I wasn't gonna cover that up. I didn't want you to be able to see that. So I just hung two hand towels on the end. And this is what this entire wall looks like. Now moving over here. This is the shower curtain that I decided to go with. That's a DIY plant that I did a while ago on my channel. Everything came from Walmart and I just used the kitchen riser to fill up that circle. And then I added these towels on this towel rack. And then I added this shelf and I put the candle, I made that. And I put my reed diffuser up there. Just try to add some little vibes to make you feel like you're at a very tiny spa. You can make your small space feel like a spa using color. White is not always, whites and creams 
is not always needed if you put the colors together right. Then on the back of the drawer, I have my waffle robe with a beige towel and a light green towel. I'm gonna order some more robes. Like I said, I accidentally ordered the short one, but I need a long one. And this is what it looks like. So when I get out the shower or the tub, I can grab my robe. Here is the clock. And it's in the same color green and the brassy gold as the curtain. Then on the towel rack, I moved from on top of the toilet and put over here on this wall. I just put two hand towels. So this is what that entire wall looks like. <laughs> so now I'm really about to enjoy the fruits of my labor and get into this tub. I've worked hard, I enjoy it. I have my margarita right there with the washcloth. A candle, some soap, my therapy, bath wash, and my tablet. And then I have my pillow. So now I'm about to relax. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one.